Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? I hope you're good, man. I hope you're doing well. Tonight seems to be... It's really a special night for us, you know, because we receive a special woman, special girl, fun on, fly away. Moi! Oh, j'ai du thé, mon frère, c'est du thé! I have my cup of tea right here. I'm ready, you know, I'm ready. Every time I'm ready. You wanna know why? Take a look at this. I have my beignet, my beignet, all that. This is, this is the, you know, this is the deal, you know, this is the real deal. You know what, Maram, this is like uh, one of the most exciting interview I ever done right here, you know. So uh, I think that the people can feel my, my, I, I don't know, my happiness. So I don't know how to explain you that, but I think that people can feel it. And I, this is why they are all right here when you're here. Because they know that I I already received uh, the most known readers, the biggest uh, um, handlers, you know, everyone, you know, we receive what the biggest uh, name on, of the community uh, all around the world. And and I think that they never, they, you know, they, they never saw me uh, happy like this. You know, it, I think that it's a reason. Allez, vous le bonnet, on croirait, on... Allez, laisse-moi bonnet tranquille, frérot. J'ai plus de locks, mon gars. I don't have my locks on, you know, so I... I have to put that one because it's too cold, right here. Du perfide. Non, non, mon que tu me dis à soi, j'étais trop énervé, là, je suis revenu en mode sérieux. Regarde. You know what, man, I can do this like a gang. Look at that. Pow! Non, non, je déconne, on va rester sérieux. Non, non, we will stay serious, you know. Tonight, it's a big night for us, so let's... Everyone is easy. We are all here to support Maram. Yes, absolutely. We are all here for that, and everyone is excited for this. And it's really important, you know. Uh, so, bon, les gars, je vais pas me, je vais pas vous faire languir trop longtemps. We will uh, go straight to it, and uh, let's talk about her. Uh, donc, uh, like I said, with uh, in French, okay, we are really happy tonight right here, um, and uh, we are so excited to to hear your story. You know, you know, I I have my cup of tea right here. I have I have my lemonade right here. Nice. I have something to eat. Okay. <laughs> so I'm ready. So it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah, nice, nice, really nice. It's a real pleasure for us too. So you know, um, I will let you to introduce yourself first, then let the people know who you are. Okay. Let's go. Hello. Um, let me introduce myself. I am Maram El Ganidi. I'm half Egyptian, half Filipina, born and raised in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. I am the owner, founder of House of Bullies. I'm also known as the first female bully dog show handler and breeder in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Okay, bon. Alors, so, Maram, you know, one of the most interesting things for me first, you know, is the fact that how old are you? I just turned 17 last month. Yes. October 10th. You know, I'll yeah. Uh, okay, nice. So it's, I, I think that's the most, uh, it's the most important thing. You know, it's impressed me, really. Um, so, you know, now we will do this, like, we do every time, you know, so we have, I uh, will ask you some question. Uh, you, you ask me, you know, we'll uh, do this slowly, you know, we don't have any stress right here. You're here at home. So, um, can you tell us how do you discover this breed? The first time I saw an American bully dog, it was actually a XL. And, and um, it caught my attention and really made me curious because of their looks. What surprised me even more that was that they were very friendly despite their scary looks. We definitely started as a, only American bully as a pet. Uh, okay. Competing and breeding, it wasn't planned. Okay, okay. You are you beginning the, the training and uh, how do you come to the show? Um, I was invited mm -hmm. and um, uh, of course I was very young at that time. Um, I, I was 12 years old and um, I saw my mentor inside the ring. Um, he was handling, you know, many bullies and um, I was outside that ring, you know, as a small little girl told myself, I want to be inside that ring one day. I want to be able to handle American bully. 
And um, five years later on, I'm here. Okay. So nice. You know, you have a lot, you have a lot of nice comments, you know, coming the best outlook, you know, like a lot of congratulations, you know, I know, I, you know, that the people are so excited and are really shocked by your age, you know, <laughs> it's a uh, definitely, like, I you know, get it. A lot. Yeah. It's impressive. Uh, you know, okay. So you beginning with that. So how much dog you have as your, your at my personal and my house, yes. I have, I have eight. Eight dog. Okay. No, no, no. On your breeding. Okay. How do you select the male for, for the female? Do you work on the, on the standard, on the, on the, breed, on the blood or on the, only on the dog's feeds? So definitely I do background checking before doing a breeding, proceeding with a breeding. I want to produce um, healthy dogs, of course, healthy bullies. Um, uh, my main goal in breeding is to produce better, healthier, um, generation by generation. And I think I'm doing the right thing because two of my production are now UAE's American Bully Champions. Okay. 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 Um, so, okay. So right now, what, what is the, uh, the, um, how, sorry, how the building community run in your country right now? Um, I can say that we are definitely improving compared to the, to the past few years back then, um, we definitely, um, improved the bloodline and cleaned it more. Um, got rid of some faults and uh, we're still, of course, working on it, working on improving. Well, yes, definitely. That is uh, one of my goals in the future is to travel and to show my production. Okay, nice. So from your beginning, okay, of the breeding uh, to now, what uh, is the most difficulty that you are encountered? Um, when it comes to breeding, well... So far, I haven't encountered that much of difficulties because my family and HOB crew is very supportive. Um, however, I'm very choosy and picky when it comes to finding my productions a good home. I want to make sure they go to responsible people who can provide a good home and treat them with tender love and care. Okay, those more them. Can you can you say that it's a it was complicated or beats, I don't know exactly. It was complicated to work on the on breeding um in your country uh, as you as a as female, as wife. Um to be honest, of course when I was start starting out, um um there was a lot of negativities. Um of course no one believed in that twelve year old uh female lady, little girl. They saw me as a little girl, you know, and, um, and, uh, like I said, five years I'm here and, uh, it's all in God's plan. Okay. And you, you, you need to work on it. Yes. I plan to improve, of course. Et c'est vraiment très, 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 très parlant, you know, of Um, donc c'est vraiment quelque chose de très, 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 très intéressant. You know, today, you, how much dog you say, you said that you have a dog in your home, but. Do you have only American bullies? You have another breed. I have one pug, and that was okay. American bully. Okay, donc elle a toujours son 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 petit pug et et ses uh, American bully. But you know, what is for you the most uh, the better thing, the better character characteristic for the American bully, and why did you choose this breed and not another one for really? I chose the American bully, of course. Um... I like their breed in general, to be honest. Um, they are known for their strong muscular appearance, despite their intimidating looks. Um, they are generally friendly, sociable, and um, eager to please their owners. I believe American Bully is one of the best companion dogs because they provide the perfect balance of companionship, loyalty, and adaptability. The best in English, so I try no, my best for that. Um, do, do you uh, do you think that uh, one of the reason of have a lot of female working on this, it was just because we have a lot of negativity around this at the beginning? Well, um, 
as a breeder, um, not many females are a breeder, but um, they are a dog show handlers. Okay, you have a lot of dogs on this female in your country? Um, they are few. Okay. Few. Uh, just a little. Okay, don't care about the upper school city pop. It's to, of course, improve my kennel, improve my production, and probably expand um, HOB, um, open another uh, branch in, uh, in another country. Okay, okay. Don't. Okay. Pas de questions à lui poser, donc n'hésitez pas à hein, toutes ces questions, très bien vues. If you have some questions for her, don't be, uh, don't be afraid, guys. So feel free to, uh, to write comments. So we try to, 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 to answer. I will explain that. Did the American beauty change life? Um, I'm going to answer it here. Um, not exactly, but um, it definitely made me a better person. At a growing teenager, and um, normally and mostly they spend their time um, out with friends. Since I started having an American bully, I'm happy to spend time with my dogs. Um, I'm very hands-on with them because I want to understand and build a good relationship with them, um, socialize them, train them regularly. And um, it taught me to be a responsible person It motivated me to focus on my goals. But of course, um, I've balanced my time management between wow. my studies and I still do go out with my friends, my family, wow. spend time with them. Um, however, most of the time I am busy with uh, breathing, having letters and dealing with potential clients. So one of the, it's one of our questions in the interview. So if you have a message to people, what will it be? Um, first, I would like to say thank you, Steve and Dave, for allowing me to share my story here on Bully Century Show TV. Nice. Um, I'm a very competitive person inside the ring. Um, some people think it's arrogance, but to be honest, it's just self-confidence. I know where I stand. I know uh, what I'm capable of doing, and I know that I can still improve. Outside the ring, I'm a very approachable person. I would uh, love to share my knowledge to those who are interested about the American Bully Breed. And I'm also open to those who would like to, uh, to share their suggestions, ideas, and um, guidance to enhance my knowledge. Reformulate. Hi, Viviana, how are you? Hi, Viviana. Thank you so much for this amazing work. You have made me feel so proud. You keep Love me motivated, guys. Viviana. You keep me motivated. Number one, Viviana, I hope you're doing well. You are in your lovely family, Viviana. I so can wait to see you soon. And, uh, keep safe. But uh, I have another request, another question. Uh, if you have had some advice to give to people, uh, maybe uh, young people like you who want to be getting in the breeding, but uh, stay because you know we have we have a lot of people on, uh, on our show. You know we have sometimes thirty, sometimes fifty, sometimes more. But all the people that we have right here are concerned about the breeding, about the dog, about the American breed. You know? So we are uh, we are nice community. So if you had some advice to give for maybe young boy, young one, young man, young woman who want to begin this, uh, this, uh, this journey, this adventure. Um, what can you say for, for them? Um, of course, if uh, they want to produce healthy American bully, um, I, I would really suggest for them to study the standard of the American bully to understand the breed. I think that's very important. Um, I think uh, they should follow the ABKC um, standard guidance. Um, I think that's very important. Yeah, ABKC has um, published a breed standard description, and I think we should keep it the way as as it is. Um, big head, um, thick bones, heavy mass, top line rear angulation, but should not affect the dog's normal movement. Um, the dog should still be athletic enough to 
take a run without struggling. Uh -huh. Color the dogs. A uh, color. Well, we have all different kinds of color and uh, the bodies here in the UAE. Uh -huh. Do you, is it uh, a, an important thing or not? Because you know where here we have a lot of people work uh, only on the color. Maybe you know, maybe velvet, melogen, maybe trilight edge. Maybe you know they, they work on the color. So what about the color in the uh, country? Um, like I said, we have everything here. We have uh, the tri, we have blue, we have white, we have champagne and white. So, but to be honest, uh, from my personal opinion, uh, color is um, not really that important. You know, I'm more on the structure, on the health. On the dog. Okay, we had a answer about the about your customers about you on the opinion. But what about the shows? Do you do you, do you see some colors more exposed, more uh, more shown or not? No, it's all equal. The 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 judges here are um very focused on the structure of the American bully. You know, they they really look for the for the best uh, percent the the best dog that can present the breed. So they don't really care about the the color. They care about the structure and the health. Okay. It will be the best breeders ever. Uh, the most known one. The, 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 the number Good. one female throughout the world and with all the shows. And, and this is exactly what we wish for her. I'm looking forward to enhance my knowledge and uh, improve, of course, and maybe be a ABKC judge one day. Okay. Okay, okay, good project, big, big project. Dr. But for but for now, I am um, focusing on the dog show handling, um, to of course gain more experience, um, make uh, more champion and grand champions under my handling, and um, be a professional handler first before becoming a judge. Okay, we wish you the best. We, you know, I'm sure that you can do this. You, you, you look really focused in your work. You are, um, you know what you are talking about, you know, and, uh, and it's really good. It's, it's a big thing, you know, like, because if you have this type of mindset right now, at a young age, you will be, you will be a monster in the future. So, Thank so you. stay Thank focused, you. Really appreciate it. work it, really keep working on your, on your program, stay focused on your, on your breeding, on your dog and everything you want. And, uh, and no problem. I think that you can do this. I think that you can do this. And uh, every, every people, everybody right here will be with you to motivate you, you know, to help you in something and everything you want. If you want a connection we are with the French people, we are here for that. So feel free to contact us at that moment. Um, uh, so we say that uh, another, another angle of the question, we say how important having the monster in the BK. Do you think that is important thing or not? We can do this without monster. Um, definitely, um, having a mentor beside you to guide, um, someone who has a knowledge about the breed and experience about the breed. Um, I think that's very important. You know, you, you can just get out there and, um, go your own way because you, you'll never know if you're going the right way or the wrong way. So it's very, very it's very good. Um, having someone to guide you. Well, before that, we say, um, can you, uh, can you ask, can you, can you answer what do I need to uplift more the American really breed in the community? So, uh, like I was saying, um, uh, American bully is one of the misunderstood breed because of their looks. But um, um, for the people that don't know um, about the American bully breed, like I said, I, I'm very happy and glad to share my knowledge about the American bully breed and my experience with them. They are very loving. Um, dogs um they are perfect com for a companion and, and um, i believe we just have to en enhance the people's knowledge to 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 see the real american bully which is they are not aggressive you know it's just the scary looks but inside they are really a baby okay uh, so uh, mark i want to thank you for your time Thank you for taking all these two hours thinking about really, you know, it's really big. I enjoy. I enjoy it. And it's really nice to meet you. And I hope that you can come in France and visit our country 
uh, look at our dog, our show, our seminar, our event, and everything. You know, you are welcome right here. And when you now, you can see that you can say that you have connection right here. Okay, so we are. You can go with us. We can uh, we can work together uh, with pleasure. Uh, if you have the last word for uh, for the follower tonight and for all the American people, because we have a lot of people who came in to see this in uh, in uh, maybe tomorrow. On a, okay, the live will be available every time for everybody. So if you have a last word for people, uh, what will it be? Um, all of you are welcome to to visit the UAE. Um, of course, explore the beauty spots and attend our dog competitions. And hopefully we can join forces and create something good in the future. Okay. Donc, vous êtes tous les bienvenus. I do this in France because it's very important. But, you know, I would just want to say thank you for everyone. You know, it's the most important thing today to have the experience of, of everybody, from everybody. The life is the most important thing, you know. And, uh, and one of the best things that we can say that the American bully is not dead because we have a lot of young people like her coming every day with the new mindset, with a positive mind, with the love, with the passion. And they are so dedicated for this breed and they work and this good uh, and the good way. So I'm good with that, you know. The American believe we never there because we have a lot of people. We have a lot of motivated people who want to work for that. And big thanks and uh, see you soon. You know, you are welcome. Every Friday night, 21 hour French p.m. Okay, uh, 9 p.m., sorry. Um, for all these people who want to come at the seminar in January, in January, feel free to contact us directly because we can find you some hotels. We have a good, a, a good hotel right here. We can, we can go and have a good, uh, have a good bed, you know. So please feel free to contact us if you have, want to have a lot of information about all the. So, a très bonne journée pour ceux qui sont loin. Passez une très bonne soirée et encore une fois. See you at next Friday. Peace.